Which is heavier, a mechanical or electronic group set? Yeah, if you are in the market for a new group set, which are you gonna choose, electronic or mechanical. If you are looking, then weight is probably gonna be a consideration. And so in this video, we are gonna weigh all the component parts of Shimano SRAM Campagnolo group sets in both the mechanical and electronic version to see what the differences are and where those differences lie. The purpose of this video is, well, simply to serve as information to you so that you can help best decide which you'd prefer to have on your bike. Now, group set weights are often found and quite easily found online, but they very rarely include all the little bits like cables and batteries and outers and all the little gubbins that you actually need to make the group set work. So I'm really interested to see, once all this stuff's included, what the actual weights are. Yeah, me too. Now, it is commonly accepted that the lightest group set option out there is this, SRAM Red Mechanical. And so, how much heavier then is the wireless ETAP version? And where are those differences? And then likewise, what about Shimano or indeed Campagnolo? As you can see, we have all the group set options in front of us and we have I had to beg, borrow and steal, frankly, in order to get hold of them. Yeah, we managed to get hold of some brand new Shimano Ultegra. And the reason why we're including Ultegra is because, well, it's more common than Jura Ace and sells in greater numbers. And also, the differences between mechanical and electronic are, well, roughly the same. Yeah, the stolen one, uh, you'll be pleased to hear, is actually just off my bike. It's the uh, SRAM ETAP version, which is, well, fairly well used now, it's two years old, and looking slightly grubby. Speaking of which, John has managed to get his grubby little hands on two Campagnolo group sets. I believe, Ollie, that he is now one kidney lighter as a result. <laughs> That may be the case. It's very expensive, but <laughs> the interesting thing about the Campagnolo group sets is at the time of making this video, the mechanical super record is now 12 speed, but the EPS electronic version is still 11 speed. So I'd be really interested to see what the actual weight differences are between the 12 and 11 speed sets. Yeah, I can't wait, mate. Let's crank up the scales of truth. We're gonna begin with Shimano Ultegra. And some of the components on the DI2 and mechanical versions are well the same. So we're gonna combine those first. And all the weights are individually listed in the description below. So you can peruse those at your own leisure. And these are our weights that we've recorded and not off the Shimano website. Yeah, now those components that are the same are the chain set, the cassette, the brakes, the brake cables and housing, and also the chain. The total weight of all of that is 1,706 grams. Onto the bits that are different then, beginning with the derailleurs. So the Shimano mechanical front and rear derailleurs combined weigh 297 grams, whereas the DI2 ones are slightly heavier, coming in at 368 grams. So that's 71 grams difference. And this can be attributed to, well, the electronics, the little servos inside, and the extra additional casing to uh, facilitate the electronic workings. Yeah, however, Interestingly, the shifters, the opposite is true. So the mechanical shifters weigh 415 grams for the pair, whereas the DI2 versions are just 301 grams. Oh yes, so a quite incredible weight saving of 114 grams, effectively because there are fewer moving parts in your DI2 shifters. This gives us a running total of 2,418 grams for mechanical and 2,375 grams for DI2. So DI2 slightly lighter, but we still have to add on, in the case of mechanical, all the gear shifting cables, outers, um, and the little ferrules and end stops and bits like that. And in the case of DI2, we need to add on the battery, the DI2 wires, the junction box, and all the other little bits as well. Okay, so in the case of mechanical, wait for it, those little bits, weigh 84 grams. In the case of DI2, it's 128 grams, meaning that the total weight, quick maths, for mechanical is 2,502 grams, and for DI2, 2,500. 
and three grams, one gram in it. Can you believe it? I'm amazed at how close yeah. that is, to be honest. I am too. I'm also equally amazed at your quick mental maths. Thanks, man. Very, People do call me mental from time to time. Yeah. yeah. So I'm really interested to see there's not much difference in it, but one caveat we should point out is that we did use uncut cables as they come in the box because it's gonna be different for each of you on depending on your bike, how much you cut the cables. So there is gonna be slightly different uh, differences there for the weight, depending on how much you cut the cables. Yeah. Not gonna be much. Also, those cables are not greased, presumably, so you could maybe add on another gram of grease. Yeah. And was the battery charged? Because that'll affect it as well, won't it? <laughs> on to SRAM then. As with Shimano, many of the components are shared, like your chain set and your cassette. The combined weights of which are just 1,475 grams. Before you start comparing it to Shimano, let's bear in mind though, we're comparing apples and oranges here, because SRAM Red is the absolute top of the range, whereas Ultegra is one down. But as before, if you want to see the breakdown of those group set weights, check out the description. If we take the derailleurs, then the SRAM Red mechanical ones are featherweight. They weigh just 221 grams a pair. And the ETAP derailleurs are actually quite a little bit heavier when they're combined, 182 grams heavier, coming in at 403 grams a pair. And this extra weight, well, you have to factor in that unlike Shimano, has to include the batteries, which are included within the derailleur bodies as well. So, yeah. there you go. As with Shimano though, the shifters are similar. So, the ETAP versions are lighter, 261 grams as opposed to 302 grams for the mechanical version. We have to add on the weight of the gear cables and the ferrules and all the little bits as well. And we've weighed this to be 78 grams for SRAM Red, but we don't have to add anything on for ETAP because it's wireless. Yeah, which means, Ollie, that the totals are for the mechanical version, 2,000 and 76 grams, and for ETAP, 2,139 grams, just 63 grams heavier for the ETAP version, which is mighty impressive, it's isn't it? only a very slight penalty. Yeah. And once again, your mental maths is... Oof, Thanks, oh, mate. Amazing. Yeah. You know everyone's gonna be checking it in the comments, don't you? <laughs> well, actually, uh, Simon's made a significant error with his mental maths. Why didn't he just use a calculator and take a bit more time over it? Could have written my workings down, Ollie. Mm. Let's have a look at Campagnolo now. And as mentioned, we have the incredibly bling super record group set at the top of the tree. And we have 11 speed EPS and 12 speed mechanical. Now, John Cannings has spotted a 12 speed EPS version out on his travels in the wild. But at the time of making the video, this isn't commercially available yet. So that's why we've got the 11 speed EPS. That's right. Now, rather frustratingly, that extra sprocket on the cassette means that all the components on these two group sets are different, with the exception of the brakes and the brake cables. Although actually the brake calipers are probably different as well if we look at them closely. Anyway, nevertheless, we've done as we've done with SRAM and Shimano and we've weighed all the components together that are not the derailleurs and the shifters. In this case, when you add them all up, the mechanical version is 1,593 grams. However, the electronic version is 1,543 grams. So in this case, for the first of all of our group sets, it's actually a difference. Yeah, but quite hard to compare them seeing as one's got an extra sprocket. Yeah, it's apples and oranges, but you know, still. Expensive apples. Yeah, premium apples. Pink ladies. Yeah. Anyway, uh, as is consistent with Shimano and SRAM, the shifters are lighter in the electronic version with fewer moving parts than the mechanical version. 279 grams a pair for the EPS shifters versus 342 grams a pair for the mechanical shifters. Yeah, and we're seeing a similar pattern with the derailleurs, aren't we? So the mechanical versions are 268 grams for the front and rear, whereas the electronic derailleurs are 328 grams. And when we add it all up, we get a total group set weight for 12 speed mechanical of 2,201 grams. And for 11 speed EPS electronic, we get 2,150 grams. So in this case, it is lighter, but we need your gubbins, Ollie. Weigh yeah. your gubbins. Right, well, with all the 
Gubbins added on. 12 speed steals it. Does it? Slightly. The mechanical is yeah. still lighter. 2,299 grams versus, for the EPS 11 speed, 2,307 grams. Oh, it's close, isn't it? It's it very is close. little. Yeah. Very little in it. But interestingly, something worth pointing out is included in the weight of the gubbins for the electronic version is the battery. And the cigar shaped battery for Campagnolo EPS is, well, it's about almost twice the size of the Shimano one. It's so. a big cigar in keeping with its premium price tag. I it think is. it's fair to say, Ollie. Yeah. Cuban. Yeah, if you're lucky enough to smoke one of those. Now, uh, as before, uh, all the individual weights of the components are going to be in the description beneath this video. I've got to say, I'm surprised at how small the differences are between these group sets in terms of weight. In conclusion, I guess the results show that there isn't really a weight penalty for electronic group sets once all the bits are weighed up, which, well, it's reassuring and, well, a little bit surprising for me. It is. And can I throw in a curveball? Go on then. So all of these group sets that we've weighed have been for the rim brake version. When you look closely at the disc brake version, obviously all the components are the same in those cases, except for the brake lever shifter combo. And in the case of Shimano Altegra, the DI2 hydraulic lever shifter combo is 360 grams, whereas the mechanical version is 554 grams, meaning that there is a quite significant weight savings to be had for running DI2 with hydraulic disc brakes, 196 grams, yeah. in fact. Which is not to be sniffed at. No. No, it just costs a little bit more. Yeah, it does. I mean, that is the big difference. Electronic group sets are still significantly more expensive across the board than their mechanical counterparts. So I guess what it shows us is that what you're really paying for with an electronic group set isn't so much the weight, it's, well, the improved shifting performance. Well, yeah, and in the case of electronic with hydraulic disc brakes, you're paying for a reduction in weight too, and vastly improved lever ergonomics as well, which is a price worth paying if you can afford it, I guess. That comes down to it. Everyone is gonna have their own individual circumstances as to what you are gonna be able to afford. Yeah, whether or not you think it's worth it is, well, it's not for us to say, it's, it's down to you. But if you wanna see a blind test of Shimano Dura Ace, versus 105, well, we did one, and you can click down here. Yeah, great results for the budget conscious rider. Uh, now, before we leave, let's just have a quick uh, caveat to say that we are, in many cases here, comparing different group sets. So, Altegra is not directly comparable with SRAM Red, as we've mentioned, and in the case of Campagnolo, we're having to compare two different generations of what is effectively the same group set, one being 12 speed and one being 11 speed. But we hope you found it useful, and if you have, you know the drill, give it a thumbs up, Subscribe, all the rest. We'll see you later.